Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kinesthetic and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. So in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to show you guys eight ways that you can style your knotless box braids. These box braids have been in for about three weeks now. So you know, the roots are a little grown out or whatever, but I'm going to show you guys eight ways that I have styled my braids while I have them in. In case you guys did not see my first video giving you guys a tutorial when my braids were done, I'll go ahead and link that video above here. But my knotless box braids were done by my sister who is a hairstylist slash hair braider. Her name is at hair by underscore Kimmy on Instagram. And when I tell y'all she slayed these braids, like everything from the color coordination, the color blendation, the knotless effect on the roots everything she slayed like these braids were probably my favorite set of box braids that I have ever had and that says a lot because I had a lot of box braids in my lifetime so as I had these in I didn't decorate them too much just because the coloring was I don't want to say a lot but it was just a lot for me right now because I usually don't really do like color in my box braids or like so much color in my box braids so I didn't do too much so what I did to decorate them is I just put like these beads in. I got these from a beauty supply store on 125th Street. So I did like three of them. So I did this one as like a half. And then I have this one here that I did like as a whole braid. So this is basically how I decorated them. I didn't want to do too much. I wanted to focus more on like styling these set of braids because I did wear them on vacation and I did have them in for three weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys eight ways that you can wear your knotless box braids. So before we get started, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below because you'll be back for more sis. And if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys find these tips, these hairstyles helpful, then go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up so that I know and so that we can share this video with other people on YouTube. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. is just a plain middle part um, when Kim constructed my braid she gave me a straight part in the middle which made it very helpful for wearing this style so if you do like middle parts if you do want to wear a middle part make sure that you tell whoever's doing your braids like give me a nice straight part in the middle so that you are able to do that hairstyle but this has basically been like my go-to just because it is the easiest and then if I'm feeling a little spicy I'll go ahead and tuck one or two behind my ear and this is style number one. side part with the hair down luckily the way my hair is parted with these braids I'm able to either do a side part on this side or I'm able to do a side part on this side but I just feel like this is not my good side I prefer my side parts on the other side but I'm gonna just show y'all the versatility based on the way that the braider parts your hair and why it's important so this is how the side part looks on this side is a top knot bun so I absolutely love this especially with the placement of my beads you can see them in the front and in the back when I have the top knot bun but this is great for me when I was on vacation I don't like hair on my back if I'm hot and I'm sweating because I know that is hot and it's real and I'm sweating when my back is sweating like my back is always the first thing to sweat so whenever I was out and it was hot I would just put my hair up in this top knot bun it took two seconds to do and what I absolutely love about the knotless braids compared to the regular box braids is that you don't have a lot of tension on your roots so when I put it up a lot of people ask me like is it heavy does it tug on your roots and no it does not at all which is why I prefer the knotless box braids to the regular box braids but this is style number three it is a top knot button So 
the next hairstyle is two pigtails and I think this is so cute I don't usually do two pigtails on my hair just because I feel like my natural hair is so short right now that it's just gonna look like two buns essentially but the fact that your girl got some inches now these two pigtails are so bomb and so cute so this is the fourth hairstyle I basically just finger parted the braids down the middle separated my hair into two sections and I took two black scrunchies and I just um wrap them around twice to get like this high effect on the ponytail and a quick little trick you can do if you want to hide like the black scrunchie is I'm just going to take two braids make sure that they are not braids that have like any decoration or anything like that and I'm just going to go ahead and wrap them around to hide the black scrunchie this is optional like if you have um dark hair your hair is all like one or one b you won't really see the black scrunchie but since I do have this blonde ombre Thing going on on my hair I hate seeing like scrunchies or anything black so whenever I do a ponytail that's what I do so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side take two braids I don't have any decoration and just wrap them around to hide that scrunchie everybody's asking me like why are you taking these braids out I'm like sis I am a such like I really have a TWA and my roots my hair is growing out crazy my hair never grows as fast but the one time i want to have a cute hairstyle in my hair want to be growing super fast i mean i ain't mad at it but okay so this is the fourth hairstyle and then the fifth hairstyle is going to be two buns so basically what i do to achieve two buns is i'll just take my inches and just wrap them around and around and around and as you are wrapping them you want to make sure that you have like the full length so there are like no humps or hiccups as you are wrapping it around so these are my two buns I like when they're like kind of messy like I like this one better than this one um, but you know everything is always cousins never sisters and never look just alike so these are our two buns is a high pony and I have been loving my ponies to the side with these braids just because your girl got some inches nice little bundles to hang down the side but I absolutely love this so what I basically did is I put my hair up positioned it where I want it to be took two braids from the back and wrapped it around so this ponytail does not require a scrunchie at all which helps because it is also less tension on your roots especially for me since my hair is like growing out or whatever um but yeah So the next style is a half up half down situation and then I put these two pieces in the front to make it very cute and spunky so this is the next look I love it so much it's just very cute it gives me like cheerleader tea 
I don't know comment down below and let me know what you think but I like this look and then also you can see the bees when we do this look see the bees when we do this look so uh, yeah the last hairstyle is a low bun on the neck and I love this hairstyle because it's a perfect like work hairstyle when I need to get my hair out of my face it's a little messy so it still has like some spunk to it but I absolutely love this low bun and this is the last style So those are eight hairstyles that I have been loving to do with my knotless braids while I had them in. I hope this video helps and gives you guys some ideas on how you can style your knotless braids. They are so versatile, especially since you can go ahead and put them up and do whatever you want to do with them as soon as you put them in since you have less tension on your roots. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know other ways that you guys style your knotless braids or any box braids. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you guys leave as well as give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed as always i'll go ahead and put my recent uploads here i'll probably put my box braid my knotless box braid tutorial video and another hair slash braid related video just because if y'all here for braids and i got y'all with braids okay and until my next video i will see you guys later